There's a new story coming out about Suella Braverman. And when she was appointed by Rishi Sunak, at that brief period when she was, when she had stepped down, she was in fact planning to do a speed awareness um, session because she'd been caught speeding. Now, in the event she didn't do that and she accepted three points on her license and she is of course in charge of law enforcement and uh, this, this was entirely um, an acceptable option. But the problem is in the process she asked civil servants whether or not she could um, avoid the speed awareness test or uh, avoid appearing publicly uh, on the speed awareness course. Now, she had committed a driving offence in the summer when she was Attorney General. She was given the option of taking points or doing the course. She opted to do the course, and then when she moved to the Home Office, she wanted to, uh, uh, to avoid the course. Now, no problem with doing so, I presume, the problem was getting the civil servants to intercede for her. Now, that might mean that she broke the ministerial code by directing civil servants to get involved in her personal affairs. And has she therefore complied with all the Nolan principles of public life, the seven ethical standards of anybody who works in public life? I would, uh, I would seriously question whether or not she has particularly in her dreams. Her dreams are quite foul. Um, and if she was caught speeding when she was Attorney General, the government's most senior legal officer, it's extraordinary, it's extraordinarily bad behaviour. At the moment, of course, she doesn't need a car. She's driven everywhere by uh, a ministerial chauffeur. But it's the asking of aides to look into her options because she didn't want to appear in public doing a driving awareness course. Dodgy.